Liquitex Freestyle brushes are a brand new range of professional acrylic brushes for large scale paintings and murals in traditional and also large scale sizes. So it's a pretty exciting new range. And one of the things that they have in common, or actually two of the things they have in common, is the filaments are synthetic tapered filaments. Uh, filaments. And the reason you want to have those is because they really snap back into shape really well. You're going to be using them for a long time. You want them to hold their shape. That's very key. They also have stainless steel ferrules too. You're using water to clean up and everything. You don't want your brushes rusting. Again, longevity down the road is key. Now, when you take a look at the traditional brushes over here, they have this very cool green handle, which is nice and, and, and fun. And they come in a variety of traditional sizes, round and also shapes, rounds, flats, filberts, and so on. So you can get in even on a large painting and do detail work. You need to outline things and, and fill in. And then I know for myself, being a messy painter, paint gets all over the handle, obscures the number sometimes that you see there. So we've got numbers on the end as well. That way you can always see what's going on down there because it's unlikely that you'll get paint over top of those. So those are a lot of fun. A handle as well. It's got this contoured handle here. So when you are holding up close to get uh, you know, in on a tight area on a painting, it's nice because it's got a thicker area here that you can really hold on to. It's also a little bit thicker back here for longer work. And then when we go over here to the large mural brushes, we've got flats and angles in a variety of sizes, in one, two, three inch sizes. These are great for blocking in areas. The angles are excellent for coming in on corners and areas and paintings like that. The one thing that's nice about these ferrules too, because they're big brushes and you're going to be moving them around a lot, they've also got glue, not only glue, but stainless steel ferrules and also screws in there too to secure those, really hold the fibers in place, the filaments in place, so that's key. And then this one, this is the Giant. Obviously, it's called the Giant. It's a huge brush, five and a half inches, holds a ton of paint. I used this myself recently on an eight foot by 20 foot mural, and it's amazing how much it holds, how much you can cover. If you need to get to a really high area in the painting, you can unscrew the handle, which is nice. That comes out, screw in a, a broom handle, reach a tall area. It's also got this piece of metal here so that it can clip on a bucket, you know, drop the whole thing in there. And then we come over to these ones. We've got long handle and short handle flats. These are a little bit softer and a little bit thinner out of the ferrule. So when you get into smooth applications, thinner applications, those are nice. But particularly for varnishing, especially when you get to the short handle ones, you want a shorter handle for varnishing so you have more control. You also want as wide as you possibly can for a varnishing brush. You're not dragging back and forth into the varnish as few passes as you can. And then these are quite fun. I want to get out a little paint here. These are the paddle brushes. I like these. They're short out of the ferrule, called paddle brushes, of course, because of this paddle-like handle. And these are nice because I can get big, broad areas with these. I can also get very thin lines with these as well. So when I get into tight areas, I've got a lot of control with those. So I like those. And then these ones that are funky too, these are the splatter brushes. A lot of times artists would use an old toothbrush for splattering effects. I've got a round on there and a flat end, and I can dip this in here. I can control it how I want. If I really want to fling the thing back, I can splatter you. If not, I can hold this a little bit closer, get my hands a little dirty, and I can splatter sections in sort of a controlled manner. I can also drag paint through it for textured effects as well. And for mixing up a huge volume of paint, we've got knives to accompany the range as well. So nice different shapes for troweling paint on and also for scooping up large amounts of it. So no matter what you want to do, we've got a tool for you to do that, especially when you're painting big. So have fun.